All right. Are we live? Can you hear sound on that, wife? No. We're checking the sound. Of course, I get a commercial. Oh, I'm a member of American Home Street, which means... You got a commercial, too? Yeah. yeah. But I'm not. Skip that. You got a commercial, too? Yeah. Oh, uh, there we go. All right, we got sound. Oh. Friday Night Live, pre pail rider show. Hi. It's the wife, the, with the wife provost. Yeah, we're sitting on our uh, back uh, inside patio. That's the outside patio. But we're sitting on the inside patio. With the screens. So let's see who we got in here. Dave White. I don't know if you're still in here or not. John Dillenheit. <laughs> Good, Hi, Good afternoon from Texas. No rain. John Jitter. By the way, how are you doing on the virus recovery? So far, so good, right, wife? Yeah. So far, so good. What's up, son? What's up, John? Big John, that is. What is behind you? The golf course. Yeah. Hi, Daniel, son. Ah, oh, Daniel. Daniel, are you out running still? Empty golf course. Yep, they got it closed, believe it or not. Because it's private, right? They got your money. Dave White. From Nova Scotia. What's up, Dave? You a trucker? Ralph Floto, good evening. Looks like trucking pays pretty good live on a golf course. Yeah, it's from other businesses, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> not, it's not from the trucking. John, Big Houston's in Kentucky. Dave White, hell no. Hell no. I don't blame you right now. Jason Perry. What's up, Jason Perry? You still in Florida? I remember talking to him yesterday. He had a uh, tire blow out right up the road from me. It was about 50 miles. A little too far to go. John Donahite says, I guess the golf course is opened around his house today. Nice. We still have them open. They're open. I mean, I, I played golf today down the street. Mm. Salty Pirate, you are not first. I was first. The wife said she was first. <laughs> Jason Perry's in Alabama. He's in Alabama already. Hi, Anth Anthony. Anthony Blackbeard. You recognize this spot, Anthony? You were here the other day. What's up, Rat Man? I see Rat Man still pandemic trucking. Salty Pirate TV. Mrs. Provost, do me a favor. It's left that ugly guy sitting next to you. <laughs> He's calling you ugly. I know. <laughs> I know. That's, that's a small thing for you to say. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we should have went live when Anthony was here and Serena the other day, but Anthony looked like he was super tired. So we didn't, we just hung out and hung out. Good to see Anthony and good to see Serena. Two of my babes, two of my babes. <laughs> Speech to text, it should say, slap the ugly guy. Oh. Uh, Salty's driving. Okay. Big brother. What's up, big brother? We're not going to talk about gats. We'll leave that for your live stream in an hour.
Daryl Dotson says, Provost and the wife, what's going on, brother? What's going on, Daryl? We're just chilling out here on the back patio. It was a beautiful day today. It was like uh, low 80s, right? Low 80s, a little breeze, no humidity. Uh, thing on the wall says it's 81 right now. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thomas Wilson, say hello from the Indian Springs, Georgia. Mr. Provost, let's go fishing. Yeah. Yeah, Robbie likes fishing. How, how, uh, well, guys, that's got to be 250 miles from here. Uh oh. What? Mine was buffering, but yours isn't buffering. How much prices are drop out? I guess he wants to know how much the prices are going to drop. And join this El Paso Heat 98 today. Holy. Hi, Denise. <laughs> What's up, sister? That is actually my sister. Got it right this time. <laughs> I gave her a wrench. Oh, okay. The, uh, I changed the channel name to Provost Motorsports Trucking because somebody else is trying to live off my coattails and has a Provost Motorsports channel, even though mine's, what, 10 years old now and theirs was two, two years Three. old or something. I don't know what they did. Yeah, we just found it today. Yeah, my sister sent it to us. Greetings from Barcelona. Sweet. How you guys making out over there with the with the pandemic? Thomas Wilson says he's heading to Daytona Beach for a month. Maybe we can get a game in. I drive the car on and yeah. So you're miles. supposed to change that filter every once in a while. <laughs> Did you see that one? He said he went from six point five miles per hour to eight point three. I meant miles per gallon. Yeah. What I say, mile? Yeah. Oh. Miles per hour. <laughs> miles per hour. I'm female. So, Pale Rider, we're testing out the uh, GATS microphone system. See, the wife's got hers, and I've got mine buried right there. Wireless, I can get up and walk around. Seems to be working uh, pretty good so far. Not too bad. 82 degrees here today, says Denise. Yeah. Nice, nice. Nice time of year. What are you thinking of you? This is, this is the, the shitty view I got to wake up to every morning. Hey, from Pakistan. Trucking on American highways are one of my dream jobs, and I wish everyone get normal soon. Yeah, we do too. My son says 83 in California. Too hot. Why what? Is it too hot. When it's 83 here, it's beautiful. If I go to Florida, can I come over? Sure can, son. Bill Ryder says it sounds good. He needs the system. Yeah, it's a great system. And he says she likes the humidity. Really? Well, I'd rather take that than the cold. Yeah. I can't stand the cold. Oh. Chucky. What's up, Chucky? It's got to be tough, Provost, I feel for you. Yeah. Yeah, we got it tough. We're, we're tough. Change the air filter every 50,000 miles. Uh, uh, salty? Salty, yeah. Uh -huh. Have you even driven that thing 50,000 miles yet? Then, then why did it drop so much? It didn't drop, it went up, right? Uh, well, it went up, but why did it drop from eight to six? He's probably pandemic trucking, he's got his foot to the floor. Let's see. Soft to Brazil? 
Daniel, you play golf? I'm going to try my hand at it. Fell yeah. silver drops. You got to turn your head when I pick it up and throw it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl Dodson says, if that's a shitty view, I'd love to see what a great view. What's a great view? Yeah. No, it's a great view. Yeah. I enjoy it. Get up in the morning, have coffee, sit out there, watch them mow the grass on a golf course I can't play. Right, this pandemic, watching videos of American trucks. I found your YouTube channel and I find it very interesting. Oh, thanks, Navi. Only thing better is to wake up is the beach. Yeah, we spent yeah. January at down in West Palm, yeah. so. Yeah, that was nice, too. Yeah, that's nice. The beach, yeah. We went out there, I filmed the sunrise, the boats out there, it was nice. I'd like to live on the beach, but with the storms coming in, I'd rather be inland a little bit. Dave Boyd says, do not read aloud, please. <laughs> Sweet, she does sound like the perfect woman. Yeah. Chucky says he is killing birds, sending feathers into the air intake. Yeah, <laughs> salty. <laughs> yeah, I got it, was salty. Uh, you could have left that comment up, Dave. That was clean. Thomas says, I've got my cowways all packed in the trunk. Sweet, because we're only about, we're about an hour, 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 20 minutes away from uh, Daytona Beach. So we're not that far. Spooby, Daniel sent me here. What's up, Spooby? Spooby, I like that name. Let's talk air cooled. Black Latino 93312. Air cooled Porsches? Nice background in there. Like your videos. Hope to see you back soon. Be safe out there. Alex. Oh, you're not going to see me too soon. All right, we're going to talk about that. Some guy said, yep, air cooled Porsches. Yep. What's your favorite Porsche? Probably a uh, 93 to 95, even though they called some of them 96s. They only made them 93 to 95. Uh, it's a 911, but its actual model designation is 993 twin turbo. That's my favorite. And actually I saw one uh, David Murray posted, he's got one for sale, 60 grand. Oh. I told him I'll take it. <laughs> Slow down for a little. <laughs> so, That's all we need is a nine, nine, 993 twin turbo, oh. <clears throat> 60 grand. Those things were going for a buck 70 two years ago. You are a Porsche guy. You betcha. Yeah, I raced them for a long time. Raced them for a long time. Hi, Jamie. Jamie. Can't, can't wait to see you guys. <clears throat> Your knees. Yeah, I know. Oh. Well, I'm trying to, the comments are going too fast now. Oh. I, I, can't, I can't keep up. <laughs> And we made Jamie a moderator. Okay, got a wrench. Martin Howe. Shara still wants his 944S2. <laughs> Hi folks, nice to see you chilling out. Oh. Just say 911, they're all the same. They're not all the same. They are not. If you talk to me about a 911, you better know the model designation or I'm gonna be lost. 
I think a 911 is the uh, 1969 911, right? Nine nine three GT two. I actually built a GT two in my shop. The guy spent like sixty grand on it, and it had seven hundred and fifty horsepower at the wheels. This thing was stupid fast. Then he came in complaining that it kept blowing off the the boost hose at full boost. So I'm out there driving around at full boost trying to get it to blow the air hose off and, and I, to the intercooler, and I did. Stupid fast. Got some guy from Brazil. How are you guys doing this evening? Just got home from work, had a great day at work. Me too, man. I had a, I had a great day on the golf course. Didn't hit any houses. I had like four birdies. Uh, three double bogeys, not my best. Mr. Promos, I gotta go, wife wants me to get grilling. Cooking steaks and baked potatoes. That's, that's my job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go home and put what, your... What's wrong with this picture? When you go to get the meat out of the refrigerator, go in the kitchen, go in her purse, and get your balls back. Even though Thomas is probably a really good cook, so oh. that's probably why. Yeah. If I cooked awesome steaks on a grill, he'd be making me do it, too. Yeah, you make them rare, though. Yeah, medium. Yeah. Medium rare, and I put pale rider mushrooms on there. What's up, the other trucker, Jane? Best? Looks beautiful there. Sure does. That's Burger. Yo, Provost, how's it going, man? Going good. Going good. I'm using Google Translator now. I'm always following the channel. I'm from... What the hell does that say? Yeah, it's Brazil. I don't know what the name of the town is. I think I'll now better understand. KKK, I'm a fan of your videos. A hug. KKK. No, we're not yeah, in the KKK. I think that's, it must be something. That's some kind of Brazilian. Uh, yeah, it must be something that translated into KKK. So he said, I saw bits and pieces of the truck or protest today. Very nice. No one was blocking any roads. Very peaceful, wonderful turnout. Indeed. Oh, so, really? Yeah, we watched it as well. And supposedly, According to Freight Broker Live, it got Trump's attention, and he's going to meet with the organizers. So, all we can do is hope that these aren't the typical protesting idiots that are going to go in there and start going, ELD's got to go! Damn brokers! What the hell? Yeah. And just open your eyes to what's going on out here, even though there's not much you can do about it, it's the free market. We definitely don't want him getting involved. You guys realize if, he's, if they put a minimum on freight and say, okay, the minimum's gonna be $1.55 a mile, every damn load on a load board is gonna be $1.55 a mile. Whether it pays $6 a mile to the broker or it pays $1.70 to the broker, they're all gonna be $1.55 a mile. That's the way they work. Gonna fire up the microwave pop pies tonight, baby. You in the truck, James? I thought it was home. Beautiful house and beautiful bills, says profit wages. Yeah, it's a nice view. We dig it. We are digging it. Oh, James is home. Thought so. Stanton Wright, my man, how are you? We're doing great. We're chilling, chilling on the patio, or the inside part. I already showed the outside part, I'll show it again. There's the outside part. We're in the inside part. Smoking cigar. 
We were watching YouTubes. Watching the... They were supposed to all blow their horns in SOS. But I guess, you know, you got 150 trucks trying to sink them and yeah, people with no rhythm and blah, blah, blah. So it just turned out to be a big air horn blowing, which was good. They got yeah, their attention. Right. Not much has gotten their attention. So for good or bad, they got their attention. Chucky says, that's just how much he loves Popeyes. Yeah, that's why he's fat. I'm skinny. I like Popeyes. <laughs> Do you think it's time to strike? Hell no, it's not time to strike. Oh. You know what's going to cause the rates to go up? Stop moving it for cheap. But, you know, there's a lot of people out there that they, they need to, they need to, every penny they can get, they need to run and... I get it. Our government is the most corrupt on earth. Yeah, that's what Trump was supposed to be doing, draining the swamp, right? And Bill Barr. About a hot tub, James. I was thinking about a pool. I wanted a pool. <laughs> Maybe a pool and a hot tub. <laughs> a pool's like having another damn kid. We don't have any, so what's the difference? Well, none that live with us. Well, none, that's what I meant. So we take care of that. And he says, really, Van? Pop pies? <laughs> I don't hate everything. I like steak, mashed potatoes and gravy, string beans, broccoli. I like pizza, too. Flour. I like pizza, too, Steve. Well, pizza, too. Snow Lord says he's here. You may begin now. Okay, let's begin. And I do... <laughs> I was hoping you went live with what we talked about on the phone the other day, but I guess you didn't. You miss driving? I sure do. I sure do. I'll be out there. Yeah, he's looking for loads every day. I've been finding if you play the three o'clock shuffle <clears throat> that they pay a hell of a lot more. There's loads on Uber right now from right down the street into Virginia paying 600 bucks for Monday. And they do loads out of this place every day. I think it's empty cans, 4,000 pounds. That's right up my alley. And I looked on there, there's loads leaving today and they're paying 1,100. That's a $500 swing. Let's wait till Monday. There's like eight of those loads on the board all the time. Wait till the last minute, book it. Of course, you know, and I always do that, they're not there. But I pieced together a couple, what did I piece together? To Nevada? It was, yeah, it was really a lot of money. I pieced together a load. To Nevada. From Georgia, about 150 miles from here, I had a deadhead 150 miles, into Nevada. Nevada, then I deadhead over uh, Donner's Pass into California, pick up a load, take that to Texas. Or no, Oklahoma, and then just north of right? Dallas, and then go down into Fort Worth, pick up a load, and drop it off here, three miles down the street. Yeah, and that paid that whole thing I pieced together, and that was early booking, paid well. Snow Lord says he picked up a load today. All right. He wanted to know which part were we uh, you were talking about to go live with Snow Lord. Oh, the part with uh, making a plan? Because, you know, you guys watch me for over the years. I'm always about failing the plans, planning to fail. 
but it's like, how do I make a plan? How do I make a plan? Right now you can't. You can't make a plan because there's just, well, the plan, if your plan is to run and make money, okay, that's a good plan. But you can't say, I'm going to run from Houston to, you know, Atlanta and back. I mean, that just isn't a plan. Snorro says he's booked until Tuesday. Good. Yeah, yeah so I'll tell you, the corn on the cob has got to be Jersey corn, though. The best. Just like our tomatoes. Yeah, the Jersey ugly tomatoes, man. They're good. So what I do is I get on the load boards and I let the plan come to me. Start piecing it out. You don't want to you don't want to bite that dangling twinkie. It takes you into no man's land where you're going to be sitting forever. What's the name of the cigar? These are this is a cheap one. I'm smoking one of the a James Best cigar. Well, it's a Paradomo. They got me. When I ordered a bunch of cigars, they gave me uh, these Paradomo, and they're supposed to be uh, key lime flavored. I don't smoke the flavored shit, but they gave them to me. How does it taste? Is that the key lime? It, it kind of tastes like... Uh, Like you're smoking a cigar with Raid sprayed on it. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like Raid. <laughs> Snore says his wife went with him today in the truck for the first time ever. Nice. Sweet. How's she liking it? It's probably too early to tell, but gotta give it a day. Snow Lord, or Burger says, even at the pumpkin patch, any kind of usual strategy is out the window right now. It's too unstable right now. Right. It's just, you know, one of my goals anyway was in a normal market is to pick loads that go into uh, a backhaul market. Somewhere there's a lot of freight. You don't want to go in a headhole market at any time, even for five bucks a mile cross country, because you're just going to eat it up deadhead and trying to get somewhere where there is a load that you'll get you some factory smokes by Drew Estates. It's their bundle cigar, very good, cheap stick. The sun's going down. Yeah. Maybe you can get it. It's almost all the way down. I got tons of good cigars. Ask James Best, he'll tell you. I share them with him. Even though I'm, I had some spe extra Black specials. <laughs> <laughs> I had some extra special <laughs> ones for us for uh, Matt. Some Patron 26s. Box pressed. Yeah, I've been enjoying them, James. They're good. You missed out. Homegrown tomatoes. Yeah, we used to grow our own at the in New Jersey at the farmhouse. They were good. I got a run, man. Take it easy. Everybody be safe. <coughs> yeah, no gats. We're gonna let we're gonna let Pale Rider talk about that though. We're not gonna talk about that. Hello, I'm truck driver and well, welcome, Pedro. In Germany. I see your videos. Good weekend. Yeah, what's up, Pedro? What is the temperature there? 80. 81? It's still 81. Yeah. Beautiful. No humidity, little breeze. Yeah, be That's jealous. Nice for the past three days. Yesterday and the day before, it was windy, it was just beautiful, sunny. So nice. Yeah. I mean, it rained during the night, but it's all right. Seems like it's getting dark, but the camera's still picking it up pretty good. Still, this has got that stupid light sensing stuff. Oh. Oh, yeah. Jim Pritchard. 
Snow Road says 80 here yeah, it today. Yeah, about, about the norm. Up California in, was 83. Is that what Jared said? Yeah. I, th I think it's kind of cold for Southern California, right? Every time I go to Southern California, I go to Southern California in January, it's 85. Hmm. Chucky says it's all over the big orange. One week waiting till for loads to confirm. <laughs> We're going to work on it this week, though. I'm going to be able to book the entire week. I'm back to look at last men. No consistency right now. Yeah, yeah. There's no consistency anywhere. Denise asked if the guest room was ready. Jared. Hell no. Jared says it was in the mid '90s last week. Oh. I was calling down there. Yeah, last week mid '90s. Oh. Sixty-four watching. Twenty thumbs up. Good, not good. Not good. 21. Smash that thumbs up, Pale Rider. You know, you won't. <laughs> See, we're just checking in. Hanging on our porch, this is what we do. Inside. <laughs> Edward Young says, at least you guys are having a good, or in good weather. It was 69 today in Massachusetts. Mm, 69 ain't bad though, really. I was in Massachusetts. Oh, last week or two? Last. Last week, right? Last weekend. Yeah, I was in Massachusetts. And it was cold there, right? Damn right, it was cold. 32 degrees and flurrying. It wasn't snowing. But it was flurrying. Mike Winko, have a great night, you two. Oh, wow. Good night. It's 1 a.m. here yeah, in the UK. Time to sleep. Hope to see you back on the road soon. Stay safe. What Porsche do you drive yourself? I own a bunch of them. I don't think I drive any of them. We don't drive them. They just sit. Yeah. I got a Boxster. I don't drive it. My career sat for a while. I sold that. I still got a couple of race cars. It's got a bunch of them laying around. I drive my Volkswagen GT. Has the Porsche 38 V6 in it. With dual clutch trans. I like that. It's fast. Daniel drove it. What part of Massachusetts were you in? Do you ever go to a place called Claude Gordon Food Industrial Park? I was in uh, Auburn, Mass. But I've been up in there a couple times. I was in Winchester, Mass, delivering computer shit. That's where, go back to my videos, the super tight dock. It wasn't really super tight, it was just no room for the truck. You had to jack, jack it in at a 90. Jim Pritchard says, I remember you saying you took the whole family down there a while back when I started. Are they all still there? Yeah, well, it wasn't whole family. It's just uh, I took uh, my mom, my wife, and a pissed off cat. Oh, coming down here? Oh, I felt so bad for him. I figure we'll, they can sit the pandemic out down here. And if I feel like going trucking, I can go trucking. Daniel says, oh yeah, that was a sweet ride. Smooth, quiet, and powerful. Yeah, I was driving it today, Daniel. You had to go golfing. Yeah, I had to go golfing. I got a golf cart right in my garage. I can drive right out to the course. That's oh, closed. 
I were young. Gordon Foods and Taunton Industrial Park, right near where I live. Now, well, A, one of my rules is no food places. Because there's usually lumpers that want to waste eight hours of your time. And they're usually backed up like crazy. You know, we delivered a Cheney Brothers food place here the other day. And there was reefers everywhere. Oh, it was a mess. Place was a disaster. But we got in and got a dock within 15 minutes and yeah. unloaded the next 15 minutes and then waited another hour for the paperwork and a lumper to do his thing. No, no black cat. Well, I used to have a black cat. This, this one here is gray and white. Surprised it's not banging at the door to come out here. Yeah. I'm shocked he's not out here too. He's hiding somewhere. Yeah. Played he's... golf today in Nashville. Nice. I need to go over soon. Yeah. Oh, is Blackbeard still on here? Let's see. Hello, Mr. Provost. Glad to see you in sunny Florida. Yeah, it was sunny and beautiful today. Beautiful. We're digging it. Nice patio, says Ralph Lodo. Thank you. This is nice. Yeah, getting back to the truckers waking Trump up at 8 a.m. today. I'm sure he was up. He doesn't sleep. He's like me. Doesn't sleep. Or if he's a distant relative. I, I hope not. Doesn't sleep. I don't sleep either. No, he doesn't. The, uh... Hopefully when I get in there and they meet with him, they can say something about, you know, we're first responders, right? Yeah. So how come we can't get any damn hand sanitizer? Or any masks? Or any damn gloves? Talk about being on the front line. We're out there with all you sick people. Unprotected completely. That would be on my list. Question, do you think that all the slaughtering of the cows and over livestock not getting their into reefer hauling would be a good time right now? What do you think the rates of livestock are going to et cetera? Oh, it's not a good time to get it to be in trucking, period. And I think one of the issues that the slaughterhouses are having is like, you know, people assume that the grocery store and all the grocery stores and all the outlets and that kind of stuff are their main customer. They're not. The restaurants that are closed, the cafeterias are closed. You know, the school cafeterias, closed. Well, I think they're still making food though for kids. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. Yeah, so there's just no, back to supply and demand. There's, there's just no demand. There's a lot of supply. Kind of like the trucks, right? There's no demand, but there's a lot of trucks out there. A lot of trucks. Minus one. <laughs> Minus one. Ours. Oh. Eat your heart out, James. Now, let's go back. I missed a bunch here. Yeah, Kyle Ryder, we have, we, we make our own masks, and we, we have gloves, I had gloves before, and then uh, hand sanitizer, we're pretty good on that now. We've been finding it here and there. Jim Pritchard says, one time he was moving from his first house to our next house. I put the cat in the back of a straight truck and took it over to the new house. Yeah, it's traumatizing. I didn't know, what a mistake. Yeah, it's very traumatizing to the cat. Poor cat's still not right. Ours. Yeah. 
He was stuck in there for two days. Yeah, in the truck. I had to sleep on the bottom bunk. He slept with me. It was fine. Bottom bunk's actually pretty comfortable in that truck. I was shocked. And I, I didn't put the mat down or anything. I just had the cushions down. It was, it was nice. What's up, CPAP? Just checking in, getting ready for his mail run. I think about you, uh, mail truckers. I think about you, CPAP, all the time when I'm cruising down 81. I'm blowing by them mail trucks. We use Porsche as a camera car and oh, total Sonny, recall. What did you say? That was so bad. Oh. Oh. Oh, he answered it. Brian Gardner, what's going on in here? Yeah, you don't include me in your uh, your 30 people uh, conference calls. You send me a text and say who's who's the holding the conference call, and I'll get in and listen to you idiots. Mike Fuller, good evening, Provost. Good evening, Mike Fuller. Cal Arc supplied that stuff to you, big brother. Us common folk, we, we gotta just get the virus and hope we live through it. Ocean State jobs, lots, has plenty of gloves. Torrington, Connecticut. Yeah, I bought, well, hey, you can't buy any paper products down here. We did get paper towels the other day. Yeah, we had to go early though. There's no toilet paper. I brought toilet paper back from New Jersey. Yeah, we can't find our toilet paper here. And the pharmacy I was in, in New Jersey, near the Porsche shop, had gloves, hand sanitizer, any kind of mask you could think of. They had a big plastic mask. I was thinking about having one. I'm wearing it while I was driving. I could be, <laughs> I could be that guy. Why you got that mask on, you idiot? I like to smell my own cigar breath. That's why. I see people in cars driving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got people riding around the neighborhood here in their golf cart with their mask on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Oh, I cursed. Michael Locker. He used Porsche's camera cars and Total Recall, Blacktown Base Borden on the tarmac. Come on. Hell yeah. I don't know what, I guess I have to repost that video, but I strapped her in a car and took her out on the track on one of those test days and put the camera right on her and I was waiting for her to go, but she didn't. She was eating it up right till we went down the front straightaway at 140 mile an hour and I didn't hit the brakes. Yeah, that was and, scary. And then she's like, brakes, 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 it's not time to brake yet. Brakes, brakes, and I hit the brakes the last second turn down, she floored it, took off. She said, do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> oh. Where'd I miss, where'd I miss? Minus two oh. LO. Let's see. Provost, you need to come to Tulsa. They just opened up the golf courses here this morning. There's golf courses open here, just not the three on my property here. The, stop, the truck stops are ripping people off if they have gloves, sanitizer, and all $45 for masks, $12 for a bottle of hand sanitizer. Yeah, I know. No vaping, little brother? Yeah, I'm still vaping. I'm just, now I'm enjoying a cigar. This one kind of tastes like, I, I think I, I summed it up earlier. It's like, if somebody sprayed Raid ant killer on a cigar, handed it to me, smoked it. Yeah, that's what I'm dealing with here. Yeah, we've been to Lime Rock. 50 minutes till Pearl Rider goes guess, live. Yeah, we'll be off before he goes on here. Did you drive at Lime Rock or did you just go? Uh... I don't know if you ever, I know I was there. So. I never raced on, I did a uh, test day and it, it only has seven turns and it's a crash fest. Uh, and after I spent all that money building a race car and I crash it up there, and then you're done. I'd be pissed off. 
So I always, I always work it. We always have customers racing there. Salty says he's got a load going from Laredo right now, and then I believe the next load is going home to Florida. And I'm going to shut her down for a week. Yeah, I'm shut down until I see something worth doing. And I did. I just didn't do it. I cracked a whip. So we got too much stuff to do here. Yeah, I got to play golf. <laughs> Hello, Spooby. How you doing? Says Les. Thick skin is needed. Yeah, thick skin. Oh, on your conference calls? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what, you got to watch who you let on there. Somebody be recording us for future use. Does Mama Provost like the sunshine state? It's okay. I like the weather. I mean, I, I'm done with the cold. I can't take the cold anymore. I'm getting too old for that. Who is that, Daniel? Yeah, Daniel's claiming first in Pale Riders video. He's got his live chat going already. Oh. Oh, but Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. So I took my car in to be serviced today, and I wore a bandana over my face, just like the Westerns. It freaks me out. It's like I'm going in there to rob them, right? Yeah. If you were a concealed carry and packing, you walked into a, somebody walked into a place with a mask on, you'd be like, oh shit, you have your hand on your gun. Now that you walk in without a mask, you got your hand on a gun. This bitch gonna give me coronavirus? Are you, uh, what do they call it? A, uh, Asymptomatic? Asymptomatic, or? yeah. Ryan Gardner, you haven't even shown up to Pale Rider's live feed in months. No, he hasn't. I miss it a lot, too, because I'm usually sleeping. Yeah, because you get up so damn early. Brian has been hiding out. I don't blame him. Brian says he's working on retirement like Robbie. Yeah, it's kind of boring. He'll be trucking. Yeah, she's bored. Get your ass in a truck. Ted Speck says, I live 20 minutes from there. My tax lawyer's across the street from the track. Friend used to teach there. At, at Lime Rock? Yeah, Lime Rock. Isn't that the one that's like in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, and it has like the, the, has the church. Oh, yeah. we went up to that, the waterfalls? Yeah, where the train trestle was, and walking I, up them rocks. I know. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah that's Lime Rock. Yeah. And they can't race on Sunday because of that church that nobody goes to. Well, they probably go. But it's like a hundred year old uh, rule or law or something they have there in that town. Oh. They can't run on Sunday. Chucky says, "Dang, everyone is talking about retirement." Yeah, it's. It's overrated. Yeah. You know, when I was Daniel's age, I just loved to lay around and play video games and sleep. Now I can't sit still. You never sat still. Daniel says he'll retire when he's dead. Take the hint, Chucky. Yeah, Jared, my son Jared. He misses camping at the track. He used to work for me, the races. Yeah. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Jared? Chucky says he's still too young. Yeah. I know there's a lot of races coming up, Jared. Um, September, right? September starts? August, September. Yeah, because they cancel all the ones now. So I think they rescheduled them, right? Yep, they crammed them all in like a... In three months time? Three month period. I'll be at the track for three straight months. I don't have any time for trailer trucking. Yeah. I might go to some. I don't know. This is a lot of fun. Get out of house. Well, yeah. 
besides going shopping. That's the only thing that saved me here with this pandemic is she can't go shopping. <laughs> Although I just got a package today. <laughs> I got one, well, two today, actually. The Amazon, the UPS, FedEx, and the mail, the mail deck are here every, every day. day. Every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> I love shopping. I can't help it. Yo, bro, from Poland. Hello. What's up? Kent Falls, that's it. Or the Falls Village oh, Falls. Yeah, I think I remember that now. Yeah, I don't, uh, he's talking about the sound ordinance yeah, there. Yeah, for the Sunday, yeah. And I think my last, my Boxster race car, they uh, in New Jersey Motorsports Park, they had a sound decibel meter out when I was going down the front straightaway, and it was somewhere around 110 decibels. Way too loud, but that thing was fast. Oh yeah, smoke 911s. The hydrogen monoxide. Uh, well, I never heard of that. Where did you find that at? Come from cigars? He says it's everywhere. I haven't heard anything here. Mrs. Provost? Mm hmm? What? You can still go shopping. Amazon is wonderful. I, I'm on it every day. I'm going to punch every you in day. your little head next time I see you. <laughs> I browse. <laughs> we probably have our own special shelf on the FedEx and the UPS truck. <laughs> Your room to talk. We got packages every day last week, I think. Are you still expecting more? Or did you get them all? Uh, one more. Someone know what it is? Yes, Ted. What Ted say? H two O. That's water. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand that. Kenneth Watt. What's up, Kenny? I actually used to work with Kenny at the Porsche dealer. Hey, Kenny. Back in the day, KW five. <laughs> What's up, Kenny? Give your little girl a hug. For, uh, from both of us, tell her we miss her. I haven't seen her in friggin' ten years. He was just up in Jersey last yeah. week. Yeah, I was up. Yeah, I was up. I spent. I was like. Uh, you were there for three three days. Three days at the Porsche shop. Scored us some toilet paper. <laughs> Can't find it down here. Evidently, all these old people down here wiped their ass a lot. Evidently. Evidently. I would like leave your garage doors open and walk around and look and see if people got it stacked to the ceiling around here. I never really look in people's garages, but yeah, I don't I'm, either. You know, oh, she'll be seventeen, Kenny's daughter. Holy wow. shit! Is she flipping you off on her way out the door yet? Brian says it comes with age. You got a, like a TP hoard up there in uh, Atlanta, Brian? New York City, and it's yeah. just like a jungle out there. Can't find nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Still I plenty of trucks on the road. Store still empty. There's plenty in uh, New Jersey. Plenty in New Jersey. I brought it back. So we have TP. We can wipe the bottom. This trucker's life. Good evening. What's up, this trucker's life? Yeah, no problem finding anything here. 
Yeah, Ken. You can't find anything down here. There's nothing. I brought it all back from New Jersey. I brought hand sanitizer, alcohol, aloe, make my own hand sanitizer. I already make my own mask. Jared said he's going to wait outside. I think that's what you got to do here, too. Got to get up real early. Make fresh pasta in the Peterbilt. Oh, made fresh pasta in the Peterbilt. Sweet. Really? I don't eat pasta. Ken says, let them know. They'll send us whatever. Nice. I'm up, I'm up in New Jersey all the time. I still have to go up there all the time. So I just throw it in the truck, bring it back. Paper gold, spaghetti and ravioli. I remember when my friend Sergio used to make those, uh, they made, they had an awesome Italian restaurant and they made the, hand, homemade the pasta and then they homemade those lobster raviolis. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh yeah. my God, they were good. Oh, they were good cooks. Brian says he might head back to Indy next week or so. Secret agent hooking you up with some loads? They have the secret agent. I've got the secret provost. <laughs> Quit lying, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Very refreshing to see you both on the back porch. Made my day. Well, thanks, Jim. Made our day, too. It's getting a little dark now. Yeah. Yeah, the camera's starting to... Starting to fade. Starting to fade. I guess we could turn the light on. We can't reach any damn things. Nice sunset there. Gotta run, be safe. All right, Ken. I'll see you soon. Contact you maybe next time I'm up in uh, Jersey. In Jersey. Jared says we get the nice sunsets being on the Gulf. Yeah, they are beautiful here. Because it's, uh, we watch it every night on the back porch here. But like the houses and the trees are in the way, so I just got to go find a spot. There was a spot. Remember where all those guys, remember we were riding around one night? Oh, yeah. All those cars were uh, sitting over there. Right, yeah. That there's was a, a nice spot. They got a sunset spot here, full of golf carts. Let's see the pool. No pool. Check you got a Chucky, I guess it's Chucky. Chucky, you gotta learn to be optimistic in these rough times. That's right. You gotta book the loads like I do. <laughs> Sitting right here. It's dark, turn on the lights. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I just, I, the light switches are inside the house, right? No, you got to reach up there and pull it. Oh, you got to reach it. up there and pull it? <laughs> <laughs> I knew when it gets dark, it's time to end it and time for Pale Rider. Oh. So, Pepsi, Quaker, and General Miles still paying good, just not as many. Yeah. All right, it is getting dark, so we're going to end this. Yeah. So don't forget to check out Pale Rider, Big Brother. He's going to talk about Gats at nine o'clock in a half hour gives me time to go get a beer and everybody hopefully everybody's doing okay Chucky says he's doing the same numbers before all this crap well you're fortunate enough to be with the pumpkin patch where everything's contracted so 8 central 9 eastern Brian Gardner, see you, we'll call you. All right, Brian. I'll be waiting for that call. 
I won't sleep till I get it. <laughs> you don't sleep anyway. Adios, Mr. Prose. Have a good weekend. Nice seeing you both. Nice, nice hearing from you too, son. Yeah, Darren. When we get the uh, spare bedroom all ready, you'll have to come down. I'll fly you down with my golf bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bring his golf bag. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Let's have a great evening. See you at Pale Rider's Live feed. All right, everybody. It's getting dark. We're out. <laughs> We're out. See ya. Bye.